thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. Father, we come before your presence, before your throne, and we thank you for the grace that you give us, for the help that you give us in time of need. And Lord, I thank you that you manifest yourself to us, Father. You are El Shaddai, the almighty God. And Lord, we seek your face. For we know, Father, they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. And Father, we know also your word promises us that, Lord, you always give us everything richly to enjoy. For you have lifted us up to sit with you in heavenly places, Lord. Far above all principalities and powers, you have exalted the name of Jesus. And we are seated together with him, Lord. And Father, I thank you, God, that your faithfulness is just as the rising of the sun and the going down of the same. Lord, that's how your faithfulness is to us. And Father, we worship you and we honor you, Lord. Thank you for signs and wonders that will be done this day, Lord, by the name of Jesus that is lifted up. And Lord, I thank you for revealing who you are to your people, Lord Jesus that you are a God of love. And we pray for those, God, who have maybe turned away from you. Lord, we thank you that your still small voice is leading them back, Father. Thank you for opening their eyes to turn back to see that they cannot live life without you. For without you, Lord, we know we can do nothing. But with you, Jesus, we can do all things through your strength that works in us. And Lord, we give you the praise and the glory and the honor this day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another great morning to come together and worship the Lord and be strengthened as the word of God is, is spoken today. Let's sing about the faithfulness of God. As the Lord is faithful, as he's made the sun to rise day by day and the moon and stars to shine by night, that gives us an understanding of God is a faithful God. He's never going to leave us. He's never going to forsake us. That's why we can put our trust in the Lord without having doubts about who God is. When we know His Son, Jesus, we can put our trust in Him and expect that He's going to lead us by His voice. He said that He is our shepherd and we shall never want. That's why we can trust in Him. And we're going to sing about his faithfulness that we can trust in. Hallelujah. And every one of you online, join us as we sing about the faithfulness of God and His goodness. The Lord is faithful at all times. And we pray today as we're singing this that the Lord will manifest Himself to you and open your eyes to see how good He is. You see, that's the first thing. When you know who God is, then His Word, it becomes so real to you. Knowing the truth will really set you free. Jesus said, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And we don't have to live life bound by anything. We can be free because Jesus gives us that freedom. Any addictions, any bad habits, you can be set free from it. As you receive the truth and believe that. It's not just hearing it, but you personally believing that and receiving it. That will set you free. So we pray you'll be blessed and encouraged today. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Let's sing about it.
trusted you For you are a faithful God Lord, I trusted you For you are a faithful You're a faithful Lord, I trusted you For you are a faithful God Lord, I trusted you For you are a faithful God Now 
praise to you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek the Lord. Seek His face. I will give you all of my worship, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seeking His face. It's such a wonderful thing. Hallelujah. To receive from the Lord. Receive what he says. He is gentle and he is kind. And the book of Ephesians tells us to speak to ourselves in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, singing and making melody with grace in your hearts to the Lord. You know, you can really be encouraged as you hear your own self sing the scriptures. It's not about, the Lord doesn't tell us to sing just you know, if we, you know, if we have a voice to or not. But the Lord tells us, you know, to sing and to encourage ourselves as you sing songs to Him. Because we live in a day, and we've always lived in times where discouragement is all around us. But we need to constantly be encouraged because that's how we can be built up and live life. And so the Lord tells us to speak to your own self. You know, people might think you're crazy when you speak to yourself. But when you're speaking the word over yourself, you're singing it. That's not crazy. You're encouraging yourself in the Lord. David, in fact, said at certain times, Soul, why are you so downcast? Put your hope in God. He was talking to his own soul and his mind. And he was telling his mind, Why are you downcast? Why are you so feeling down? Put your hope in the Lord. He was reminding himself as he spoke to his thoughts. Put your hope in God. So that's what you got to do to your, you know, your thought life. That's where the discouragement comes. That's where the enemy brings the discouragement. Speak to your thoughts and encourage it with the word of God. Because you can't fight a thought with a thought. You can fight wrong thoughts only with the word of God. That is your sword that can... Pull down those imaginations and thoughts. And also singing the word, singing songs of encouragement builds you up, builds up your inner man. That's how you stay encouraged. So we'll sing from that scripture, speaking to yourselves in Psalms.
scripture song from the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 22 and 23 Jesus answered and said unto them have faith in God for verily I say or truly I say unto you whosoever shall say unto this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe those things which he says shall come to pass he shall have whatever he says and the mountain can be any kind of a hindrance that is in your life if it is a sickness if it is an attack from the enemy whatever area it is that is a hindrance bible says or jesus is telling us here speak to it and command it to be removed and it says don't doubt when you speak those words of being removed believe what you say that that hindrance it has to be removed and the last part he says you will have whatever you say you see words are very powerful when Jesus cursed the fig tree it withered and it died and Jesus was showing us that you know words you speak have a lot of power either you have when you speak words that are you know words that can either create life or either they can create death in you and so we got to come to the place where we understand where when we speak we need to tame our tongue to speak life and when you have hindrances in them learn to command those hindrances to be removed plucked up by the roots and cast into the sea not magnify the situation and the problem in front of you but command that to be removed in Jesus name and right now if you are even facing maybe a hindrance of a sickness whatever attack it is right now in Jesus name we set our faith together with you if you believe it we say to that be removed right now and be cast into the sea you can do that you can command your circumstances to line up with the word of God and Jesus simply, he said, have faith in God. When you speak the word, believe that it shall accomplish what you have spoken. Believe that. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? We have authority over sickness and disease. We don't need to let the devil, you know, let those thoughts sit in our mind. Command those mountains, hindrances in your life. And it shall obey you when you believe it. Let's sing this scripture. Have faith in God. What you say shall come to pass when you believe it. Amen. Shall come to pass Oh yes, he shall have whatsoever 
Jesus commanded those storms and those winds and the disciples they didn't do that Jesus looked at them and he said where is your faith so that tells us that when we have Jesus living in us we have that same authority that we can speak to storms maybe it is a storm in your mind that is troubling you that's a hindrance that's a mountain don't let it sit there say to that storm peace be still mountain you hindrance be removed and cast into the sea have faith in God this is your authority in Christ Jesus that you have hindrances don't have to bother you it comes to bother you but you don't have to let that sit in your mind amen hallelujah look at each other and say we have the faith of Jesus in us hallelujah. we have the faith of Jesus, we have the faith of Jesus in us glory to God 